Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Liz and today we have a Bath and Body Works haul. So I did pick up some items during one of their soap sales and a candle sale. And then I also picked up the Diamond of the Season scent from the Bridgerton Collection collaboration with Bath and Body Works. So I'm not sure if you are familiar, but Bridgerton has been a very popular book and Netflix series and Bath and Body Works did do a collaboration with them. They have a few candles scents that are coming out. I want to say they only have one body care scent, which is the diamond of the season. And then they're also coming out with pocket back holders. So I'll put the picture up here. I went into life inside the page and she did have a picture shared by Sense Galore of the pocket back holders that they're coming out with in collaboration with Bridgerton. So I'm sure other things will come up as well. The date for the drop, I believe, is March 25th. So I know a lot of people are highly anticipating the drop. I did pick up a few items in the scent diamond of the season. So I can go ahead and give you my thoughts. I haven't smelled any of these items. The soap sale items and the candles, I did do a buy online pickup in store and they've been in the bag since I purchased them. And the diamond of the season scent, I actually ordered it online when they did the two day exclusive for members and I did a buy online pickup in store while I was on vacation with my daughters and I just picked it up yesterday haven't even smelled it I looked at it and I read the notes and I'm a little concerned because as you guys know I'm not a big fan of peach this is all going to be first impressions so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts as well as seeing what all I picked up during the candle sale and the soap sale okay Stay that was super long-winded so i'm gonna go ahead and just get started so i have three bags here so my first bag i just have soaps the first one that i did purchase is from their easter collection it is cotton tail cake pop it's really pretty blue packaging i like the picture on it it's very cute and it'll look really nice like in the bathroom or in the kitchen this one has notes of delicious cake batter, rainbow sprinkles, and fluffy buttercream. I do get some sweetness of like maybe like the buttercream kind of sweet sugary note, but it's not like super heavy and it has like a freshness to it. So I don't think that this would be too much like if you were to put it in a guest bathroom. The next one I have here is Some Bunny Loves You. This is the pink apple punch. It looks like this. Super cute packaging. I'm a sucker for anything pink. This has notes of crisp apple, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals. And this is just a very bright, fresh apple scent. Nothing too crazy, nothing super spicy. It's just a very nice spring appropriate scent in my opinion. Next, I have Coastal Watermelon. It looks like this. This is more of a summertime scent, so this would be great for the transition from spring to summer. This has notes of juicy watermelon, pinch of pink sea salt and ocean waves and then do you get the watermelon it's not like a fruity candy watermelon it's more of a fresh watermelon i get like a little bit of a mint kind of note to it which i don't think this has a mint maybe that's the ocean waves or something but it's definitely more of a subtle scent it's nothing overpowering it's kind of the tone of all of the ones i've smelled so far they're not like super heavy hitters which they really shouldn't be because they're hand soaps you know we're not trying to get our body care scent off of a hand soap they're strong enough to kind of give you an experience when you're washing your hands the so next one i have here is raspberry tangerine now this I had in the body care um, and I used to love it. This has wild raspberries, fresh tangerine and lemon zest. And this does remind me of the body care, but this one smells a little more, a little more citrus forward. I feel like the raspberry tangerine body care is more juicy raspberry with the tangerine and they really balance each other. Next I have pineapple mango, it looks like this. So definitely going into the more tropical scents. This has notes of fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberries. I do get a lot of the mango. It's just a really fun, juicy, mango forward, tropical scent, and I think it's really nice. So very fun for the summer. I did pick up strawberry pound cake because I really like the packaging. And it has like embossed flowers and like, I think birds or something. I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty. And I like the little touch of the bee 
Strawberry Pound Cake is probably one of my all-time favorite hand soaps. I have like two more in my bathroom. So I figured like buying one right now wouldn't hurt because I personally think that Strawberry Pound Cake is a year-round scent. If you're not familiar with Strawberry Pound Cake, the notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And it smells just like that. Next, I have the Champagne Toast. It looks like this. Like a little marbled sticker type feel to it. I do like Champagne Toast, not necessarily the body care, but I love it in home fragrance and in the soaps. So this has notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. And this one is very citrus forward in my opinion. I really do like it though. And I think the raspberries and the champagne give it a little sweetness. The last one that I did pick up was one that I'm really excited about. And this is the Happy Easter Daffodil Dreams. For one, I love the packaging. I love the bunny and the flowers. It screams spring and Easter time. This has notes of whipped marshmallow, pastel clouds, and sweet daffodils. It's a very light scent, but I'm honestly curious to know if the body care is stronger because all the other hand soaps have had kind of like a light tone to them. It is quite sweet. I do get the marshmallow and I get the daffodils and I think it's a really nice scent. This is super cute. I'm going to have this in my kitchen. I'm actually going to put it out as soon as I'm done with this video. I did pick up a couple of candles and when I say a couple, I literally mean two. I had to pick up the sweet carrot cake. Look at the packaging. I think I get this candle every single year. It smells so, so, so good. Like this is perfect for right now, but I also think it's a great scent for like fall time. I think the sale was like $12.95 and I couldn't pass it up because this candle retails for $32.95. And the reason for that is because of this gorgeous lid. Like, do you see this lid? It is solid. It is beautiful. I'm a sucker for these lids. It has such good weight on it. However, if you drop it, it, I'm pretty sure it will shatter. So I would be very careful. Packaging itself for the candle, like I just think it's just so pretty. Like if you see, this is the perfect candle for Easter for this time of the year. The notes are sweet cream cheese frosting, fluffy carrot cake, spiced cinnamon with natural essential oils. And it just smells like a delicious spicy carrot cake. It smells really, really, really good. I don't know if I'll be burning it this year because I do have my carrot cake candles from last year that I already have out there. So I'll probably burn last year's and keep this year's just for decor purposes because it's so, so pretty. The next candle that I picked up that I will for sure be burning this year is another Easter candle and I did pick it up in the Daffodil Dreams. So it looks like this and I'm probably gonna have this out in the kitchen right next to my hand soap because I just thought it would look really nice together. This, as I mentioned, has notes of whipped marshmallow, pastel clouds, and sweet daffodils. Honestly, it's super light. I don't really smell much of anything. I get more of the marshmallow from the hand soap. I'm not really getting much of the daffodils. I get some sweetness. So it's like a really light sweet candle but I don't really know how it's going to perform. Hopefully the candle has good throw. From smelling it on cold, I, I don't really know if it will be all that great. So I did see this pink pineapple and I just thought it was really cute. I thought it'd be really cute to put in the car during the summer months. So I like the like pink color and um, it has like little jewels around it. And I did get three of the car scent portables to go with it. I got two of the pink pineapple sunrise. And then I did pick up one of the laundry day, which is one of my favorite candle scents. It's a very fresh, clean laundry scent. So I'm very excited to finally put it in my car now that I shared it with you guys. And lastly, what everyone's been probably waiting on is the Bridgerton collection. Let's talk about the hand soap first. So the packaging itself looks like this. Most of the Bridgerton related items have like that B and then we have um, the same kind of pattern going around. The scent is Diamond of the Season and the spout is a matte black with a gold trim. This has notes of sparkling peach, spring daffodils, and radiant jasmine. This is a very fruity scent, but it kind of leans towards like Fabuloso Cleaner in my opinion. I don't hate it. It's very fresh, clean. The peach isn't overpowering. I did pick up the two body care items. I didn't get the body cream because I don't go through body creams fast enough and they go bad a lot faster than the lotions. And I do enjoy their lotions. So I did pick this up in the fine fragrance mist and the lotion. So they look like this. 
Very similar, cute packaging, same kind of style with the matte lid. Now the top to the fine fragrance mist is like this diamond cut top. We've seen this before in other packaging. If you remember, Luminous has that same lid as the Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. It does say Bath and Body Works with Bridgerton in collaboration. So very fun. And yeah, so let's go ahead and smell it and get our thoughts. It's a fresh peach. It's kind of sweet. It's juicy. It's not like super floral like I thought it would be. And I do quite enjoy it. We're going to let this kind of warm up on my skin to see if it kind of transforms. The lotion itself is a white consistency. The lotion to me smells more floral than the fine fragrance mist, which is interesting, honestly. Yeah, so the fine fragrance mist, I'm getting more of that peach fruitiness. And then the body lotion, I'm getting more of a powdery floral. So for sure, the lotion to me is a little more floral forward and it gets a little like powdery on the dry down. So it's like a powdery floral. Whereas the fine fragrance mist, I get more of the fruity peach components coming out. Definitely lighter, fruitier. I'm not getting a ton of floral, but overall I do like them. I like the fine fragrance was more than the lotion, but I think that if I just layer them together, I'll get more of the true scent of the notes. I'll be keeping it. I don't think this is something that I would need backups of. I think it's fun. Like if you're a fan of the Bridgerton series and you wanted to pick up a couple of items, this would be kind of cute to have. You know, you would be the diamond of the season. So basically it's like the it girl of the season. After it warms down, it's very light. So it's a very delicate scent. I do think it's pretty. I don't think it's something I would wear in the summertime though, because in the summertime, I have a hard time keeping the scent on me as opposed to like in the fall and the winter time when it's cooler out, I feel like scents kind of stick a lot better. This being so light, I don't know if it's something that will just disappear in the heat, but overall it's a nice scent. It's pretty, the packaging is cute. And if you're a fan, I think that you would enjoy it. So that's everything that I picked up from Bath & Body Works for the candle sale, the soap sale, and the new Bridgerton line. Have you picked up any of these items? Have you picked up the Bridgerton collection? Will you be picking any up? I know that when everything launches on the 25th, I do have my eyes on a couple of the pocket back holders that are coming out. Don't know if I'm going to go crazy buying the candles unless there's a good candle sale. So we'll see. That's all that I have for you. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care, stay blessed, and I will see you on my next one. Bye, friends. Thank you.